Good morning, Rithia. Good morning, Jess. Okay, so we got patient in room three. Okay. 27-year-old male. All right. He was admitted two days ago for a left knee replacement. Okay. So he's two days post-op. Mm -hmm. He's alert and oriented times four. Okay. But he's been kind of drowsy. So, and it's been kind of difficult to get him stimulated. Okay. So, he also has a Foley. All right. Um, last I checked, his dressing was clean, dry, and intact. Okay. And the physician's supposed to be in this morning to assess it and redress it. All right. Okay. Um, let's see what else. He's got a left knee immobilizer. Okay. He also has a 22 gauge right AC, clean and intact. He's got a PCA pump detached with morphine and no other fluids running. Okay. Okay, his last vitals were blood pressure 98 over 65, respiratory rate 11, heart rate 90, temp. 36.7 and he reported his pain at 3. Okay, his um his blood pressure seems a little low and his respiratory rate is borderline. What's his normal? Well, he's been running around 120 over 76. Okay. And his respiratory rate 14 to 16. Okay. So it's been pretty normal, but it seems like he's trending down. Um what about his PCA pump? What was that set at? It's set at 1, 6, and 10. Okay. Because right. sometimes so. the, the morphine, the medication in the PCA pump can kind of like decrease the blood pressure. So have you checked the history of use? How often he's been using it? Oh, no. I haven't. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I can show you how to do that. Okay. It's good to know how often he's pushing because that helps us with assessing. Okay. And also to determine whether or not the pain med is effective or not. Okay, cool. Okay? Yeah. Ladies. You talked about Mr. Martinez? Yes. Like yes. Three? Mm -hmm. What was his last blood pressure you said? Um, 98 over 65. And he's on a morphine pump, right? Yes. Did he morphine? Yes. Did you check his BUN or creatin? Yes, we did, and those came back within normal range. Right. You understand why I'm asking that? It's just because if he doesn't have any other fluids running and he's on a morphine pump, it might be decreasing all that, and that could be the problem why he's drowsy or maybe his blood pressure is trending down. Okay. But, you know, Rethia was right, you know, leading you in the right direction to check that morphine pump first, so we'll teach you how to do that history. Okay. Knock, knock. Mr. Martinez? Hey. Hey. My name is hey. Angel. Hey, Bring a couple ladies with me. Um, how you doing today? Been feeling real sleepy all day. Sleepy? Yeah. All right. I'm going to show him something on here and we'll talk, okay? All right. So you come here and you check the history. So you can see here where he hasn't been pushing it as much. Um, so you haven't been using that, your button there that no. often. I don't yeah. feel too great when I use it, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Would you like for us to call the doctor and see if we can yeah. get something different That'd or decrease the dose? Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. All right, Jess, do you mind getting another set of vitals on oh, him yes, as yes, well? And did you already check his urine output? Yes, I just emptied it. It was 150. Okay, yes. perfect. Yeah. Well, you call if you need anything, okay? All right, thank you. All right. We'll be back shortly. Bye, Mr. Right. Martinez. See you. Thanks, Jess.